Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video I want to share with you how I play Can't Find My Way Home as recorded by Blind Faith on guitar. Now, for this lesson, I'll be taking actually a finger style approach. So I'm using a thumb pick. You can play this with just pure fingers. You could also play it with a flat pick. I know pretty much all the versions that I've seen online show it with a flat pick, but if you listen to the original recording, it was actually a nylon string guitar that was sort of driving the rhythm. And pick and nylon string in this type of guitar part. I think it's actually done finger style and Clapton played finger style quite a bit actually if you listen to like the Unplugged record and there's a lot of tunes on there where he's got sort of his own unique way of playing finger picking and so that's the approach I'm going to be taking in this lesson. Let's get straight into it here. The first part is this iconic progression. Here's what it sounds like. <laughs> All right, so we've got a little four bar pattern here and a couple things just to take note of. One, I'm in a drop D tuning. So what that means is I took my low six string and I tuned it down to this note D here. So if you look at your tuner, you just lower it down, it goes down to D or you can match this note. And then the progression starts out on what's called a C sus2 chord. Okay, and the way that I play this is the third fret of the fifth string, and then the third fret on the second string. Okay, and that's gonna be the first chord. I'm muting the fourth string, I'm not playing the low sixth string or the first string. Just those three notes there, and then we're gonna walk down the bass here. So the third fret on the fifth string actually goes to the second fret there. And this chord is called G over B. And then it walks down again. Now here I was using these fingers. When I go to this next chord, I put my pinky there on the third fret of the second string. And then my index goes on the first fret there of the fifth string. So you've got C sus2, G over B. This is a B flat six chord. And then we go to a D there with the A in the bass. So that's the first part, and I'm gonna break this entire tune down for you step by step. But if you're new to the channel, I wanna give you a gift right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that shows you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And this is so useful if you wanna to learn to jam songs with other musicians, and you wanna understand the neck, and you wanna improve your soloing. You can get this completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide. You can click the first link down below and grab that as my gift to you. So one of the things that's cool about this progression is it has a descending pattern to it. So you have this sound and then listen to the bass. The bass goes down and it goes down again. So it just sort of keeps walking down on that fifth string. Then the second half of the progression almost has this climb up sound to it, right? So it sort of walks down and then climbs up. Now this second progression here, the second half of the progression is a progression that the Beatles use all the time. Like you hear this at the end of the song, The End. <laughs> by the Beatles from Abbey Road. And, and the progression, again, just has this climbing, it's almost like the sun comes out like sound to it. So let me show you these shapes. Now, because I'm in drop D here, these shapes are a little, little trickier. Basically what I'm doing is playing the third fret of the sixth string, third fret of the fourth string, second fret on the third string, first fret on the second string. Okay, that's an F chord. And then that's a G like that. And then D, okay? So just to recap all of these chords, we got C sus2, G over B, B flat six, D over A, F, G, D. 
Okay, now the cool part is adding this sort of arpeggio or arpeggiated sound to those chords. So the way that I do that, is by just creating this little pattern on each chord. So I start on the fifth string and I'm gonna say now the strings here, I'm plucking five, three, two, three. So, and then one more five. So five, three, two, three, five, okay? And it's got this rhythm. Bam, ba, bam, ba, bam, bam, ba, bam, ba, bam. And then you keep the pattern the same. And this is a great thing that you do in finger style guitar, finger picking guitar all the time is you have a pattern and then you keep it as the chords move, almost like a strumming pattern, right? Like we can learn a strumming pattern and then change chords and get different different chords, we can do the same thing with finger picking. So. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, right? A little 16th note rhythm in there. And the drums are almost doing like this march kind of. Now, if you wanted to, you could play it with a flat pick, right? See how that sounds different, right? I like the thing. Fingers are a little warmer. Okay, then when we get to the F chord, here I mix up the pattern. Here I play six, four, two, three, four. Six, four, two, three, four. Bum, 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 bum. Then move it up two frets to G. Do the same thing. Then here, there I do a little lick, okay? And, and what I did there was I go to the D chord and I play the sixth string, then the fourth string, then a pinch. Okay, I'm pinching there with the index on the third string and the middle on the second string. Then a little bluesy. Okay, so that's the third fret of the fifth string. Do a pull off to open and back to the third fret. Then the open fourth string. So I've got. Okay, and then I do one last pinch. And then you have this little walk up that kind of comes back throughout the progression. And right there, we're ending the progression and then it's looping back around. Remember, it's just four bars long and this sort of walks back up to the C. And Clapton would do that all the time. You know, listen to Bell Bottom Blues, listen to Tears in Heaven. You're gonna hear that little into the bridge of Tears in Heaven, right? All right, that's the main progression to the song. And that chord progression is very useful. You'll use it in a lot of other songs. In fact, there's a lot of classic rock songs that follow, especially that progression right there, which is the first couple chords. So once you've got that, put it together, get those four bars, jam it, loop it. Now there's one other section you need to know about, and this is the bridge or the B section. And that goes like this. And then we're back to the first part there. So here, we're actually going to the G over B chord. Remember the second chord in our progression? Okay, this is G over B. 
for one measure. Doing that same rhythm, one E and a one E and a two E and a twice there. Then we go A sus four to A. Okay, that's an A with one finger, and then I'm playing the third fret there on the second string. Same finger picking. Okay, then the D, you'll hear all kinds of cool licks in the song where you might take like a D like this and then go open. That's a D sus two, and then maybe a hammer back into it. So that might be something like this. Or, so that's bass, bass, chord, open, bass, hammer to the chord, bass, chord, bass, like this. One and a two e and a three and a four and. Okay, now here's a new chord. E minor, E minor seven. And, and it looks like E minor the way you would in standard tuning, but you shift it up here. Two, two, open, 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 open. Now, that's sort of the full chord if you want to strum it, but a lot of times in finger style, I'll actually just play sort of little parts of the chord because I'm controlling what strings I can hit in the finger picking hand, so I don't have to grab the whole chord. I'll just go play one fret there, second fret of the low sixth string, then walk it up five, then four, two, D. Walk down D. Okay, so here's the whole bridge. Here, you can play the little walk up and go back to the first progression. So let's do this just as an exercise. We're gonna jam this together. We'll play the first part two times and then we'll go to the bridge, the B section. The very end, we'll get to that D chord and we'll go and we'll just return back to C for the ending. Get set and I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. And on C. Now when the song ends, it actually just loops. Remember that progression I said you hear in the end of Abbey Road uh, on the song The End, uh, the climb up. We just loop this. That's how it ends. And I might end on D. So have fun working on this brilliant song. Be sure to take each part slow. Remember that it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not gonna be perfect when you start, but over time you can get more comfortable with it. And you can have a lot of fun working on your finger picking and playing an awesome song. And to help you put this together even more and understand these chords and the scales that go with them, be sure to grab my fretboard guide. Again, this is gonna show you the five must know chords and scales to map out your entire fretboard so you never feel lost on the neck. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or you can click the first link down below as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more finger picking guitar, check out this video next.